Hey there, Survivors. Cougar here, back with more satisfactory gameplay. We are sort of picking up right where we left off at the end of the last episode, in which I had made a horrible mess of my first base here. Uh, and it is my first base, so please do not ridicule me too severely. But what I did, uh, made some changes here. I, I moved the hub, basically. I, I started with the hub kind of right in the middle of things, and that just made it very difficult to expand and build. So I moved the hub. And now all I need to do is get my power lines hooked back up. You go there. And you go there. Alright, now everything should be back online, except I need to put some, some actual fuel in our biomass burners. And I have none on me, but I have some in my storage locker here on the hub. Stand by. Biomass, biomass. Great. Get these up and running, and then I'm going to deconstruct a bunch of conveyor belts and try to make those a little bit prettier. Uh, hold on, let me get fuel in this one too, and then reactivate it. Otherwise, it may just shut right back down again. All right, and then we have this conveyor belt running all the way around what was the hub. The hub was here, and this conveyor belt's running all the way around there, which is stupid. So we're going to change that. Uh, we're going to hit F to bring up our deconstructor and just start deconstructing these conveyor belts. I'm going to be picking up a ton of uh, ore doing this, unfortunately, but no way around that. All right, now let's make some conveyor belts <coughs> heading directly in to these constructors. Or smelters. Smelters, I should say. There we go. That's a little bit neater and more direct. Thank you very much. And now we can do one here as well. As long as we still have enough iron plates, we may not have enough iron plates for this. In which case, we're going to have to go make some. I like the way it, it builds. Yeah, okay, we're out of iron plates. All right, uh, let's go make some more iron plates. And maybe, do we have some already crafting here? That's iron plates, a hundred of them. Perfect. Just what I needed, thank you very much. I uh, had built some of these that I should pick up now. Some conveyor stands. And now back to building. Conveyor belt right in there. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so as long as all this stuff has power, this should be... That's churning out iron ore. That's churning out iron ore. And my coal mine is churning out copper. Excuse me, my copper mine is churning out copper ore. So we're in good shape on all those fronts. Next on the agenda, wow, we got lots of copper wire we can pick up. We've got lots of iron rods we can pick up. And I'm going to be sending all this stuff to a big storage bin in a bit. We'll build one of those soon. But for now, you know what? I'm just going to load this up with all that iron ore I picked up off of the... Uh, oh, it won't let me. All the op iron ore I picked up off the conveyor belts. It looks like I didn't actually pick up that much. Only 55, so we're fine. Just leave it at that. Now let's go over and see what we need to do for hub upgrade 5 is our next milestone. This will unlock the biomass, another biomass burner that we can build on our own. The space elevator, an object scanner, and a beacon. Great. So to do that, we will need 150 iron plates. We can get that started right now with the 86, 89 we have in our inventory. 150 iron rods. We can get that started with the 100 we have in our inventory. 500 copper wire. We've got that nailed down. And a bunch of concrete. 30 concrete. We've got that nailed down too. So we just need the iron plates and the iron rods. And we are automatically crafting them over here. So, um, now might be a time to go look around. Oh, yes, and thank you, uh, for viewer. Shoot, I should write these names down so I can actually credit you, and I'm sorry that I haven't, but for pointing out that there is a chainsaw that I can unlock that will allow me to take down this plant here and get it out of the middle of our base, and we will be doing that as soon as I unlock the chainsaw. If I haven't already, have I already? Oh, I should have built this a little higher. I could run under it. Oh, well. 
Have I unlocked the chainsaw would be at the tool bench, the equipment workshop. No, I haven't unlocked it yet. So that's going to be soon. Uh, for now, we're just, we could just stand here and kind of build out the rest of the, uh, the equipment that we need. If we have enough raw stuff, just stand here and bang on this for a while. But the whole point of this, right, is that we're supposed to be automating this. So, let me just use up all the iron ore I have in my inventory from deconstructing those conveyor belts. And then we will go do something more interesting. Alright, iron plates. Let's make half of these iron plates and half of them iron rods. And I'll just throw those in. Oh, I've got a lot of copper on me, too. We're going to have to make a bunch of copper ingots to get rid of this copper. Uh, let's, let's do that. You guys don't mind standing here watching me hold down a button, do you? This is fascinating stuff. Look, uh, the button is being held down. It's, it's down now. And if I let go of it, the button comes back up. And, and then it's not working anymore. So I'm holding the button down. Are you guys taking notes? Because this is complicated. Button being held down. Time now. There'll be a quiz on this later. So you should write this down. Holding button down. How'd I do, guys? How'd I do holding the button down? Pretty good, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, unload some of those copper ingots, and that's good. All right, uh, let's run over here and pick up more iron rods and more steel plates, iron plates, and this should do it for hub upgrade five. Pretty night, big full moon, moving super fast across the sky. Uh, all right, hub upgrade five, are we almost there? 90 plates, that does it, and... 100 iron rods, that does it, hub upgrade 5, bingo! Wowza. Wowza. So Congratulations, big you have unlocked hub feature, molecular analysis machine, also known as the MAM. MAM. Building, biomass burner, building, space elevator, equipment, object scanner, equipment beacon. So we're gonna build a... Motivational message. Congratulations. Thank you. you succeeded in every provided task. Thank you. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Well, I thank you for guiding me through additional these additional knowledge. steps. Shut up. The hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones hub terminal. to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. More milestones for us to achieve here, guys. Additionally, the man provides the opportunity to send samples of xenobiology and other materials I deem relevant to R&D in exchange for appropriate rewards. Yeah, okay. Note, future developments should be aimed at constructing the space, space elevator, elevator and initiating project, project assembly. assembly. Got it. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Ada. Uh, configuring the hub terminal, we now have additional tiers unlocked that we can pursue. Uh, I think that... Uh, you know what? I'd love to get logistics down so we can have splitters and mergers. So why don't we select that as our first milestone and pursue that, as it were. All right, we're, we're well... We're, we're started on getting the resources for that. But in the meantime, let's head back here and check out the MAM. MAM is our molecular analysis machine. This is our science station. Um, why don't we put... So I'm going to click on the pale berry, put one pale berry in there, and begin analysis. And what's this going to... Uh, shoot, I should have started with the green power slug. We don't have one in our inventory. We could have run back to the, bit, the box and grabbed one. But we're going to uh, analyze all this stuff, and it's going to unlock new things for us to, to do with them. Or the ability to scan for them with the personal scanner that which we can now build. Speaking of which, we can now build an object scanner uh, and a beacon. We may want to have a beacon on us at all times. Uh, so why don't I run over and grab some more of the stuff that we're producing here. 
So in case we find something interesting that we want to mark for later... Oh, we're not producing anything here. What's, what's the hold up, dudes? No power? I guess this... This guy was running right off of some other power line. And it has not been operating since we started. Hmm. Uh, which, which, which power pole should I run a line off of? That one's got one, two, three, four. That one's got one, two, three, four. So we can't run it off of there. Run it right off of here. All right, now it's working. I probably should have checked that as soon as I got this stuff sort of up and running. Ah, now it's producing. What a waste of time. Valuable time with which we have nothing else to do. Should we make a beacon? Let's try and make a beacon. Let's see if we picked up enough stuff to make a beacon. Mm, yes, we did. Let's craft a beacon. All right, cool. So now we can either use that beacon to create an object scanner. Actually, we need three of them to do that. Or we can just use the object scanner to scan for different stuff. I mean, we can build an object scanner. All right, you understand what I'm saying. We can build an object scanner is what I was trying to say. Now I'm just over here looking around. We, we, we've got more exploring to do here, guys. We've hardly seen any of the map. And there isn't a ton of variety in the map. But there are things to see. And I would like to get us over there, uh, out there, seeing stuff. But we should also focus on getting that space elevator built. Which, if we bring up our build menu would be under special. The space elevator needs a sh buttload of concrete. 500 concrete and like a, a, a almost as was was it 500? Hold on. 500 concrete, 250 iron plates, 400 iron rods, and 1500 copper wire. So a lot of production necessary to make that happen. The only thing we're not actually producing automatically right now is the uh, concrete. So why don't we get that up and running? I'm going to put down some more platforms or foundations here and set up another constructor to turn limestone into concrete. There's probably, if there's a way to take down the trees, there's probably a way to take down the rocks too. I'm gonna have to, if anybody knows that there is something we're gonna unlock later that's gonna let us take out those rocks. Just, just chipping at them with the thing isn't gonna work, is it? No, it doesn't give us the option to actually chip away at them with the with the, the hand tool. But for now, let's build another uh, smelter. Do, wait, we wouldn't need a smelter for the limestone, would we? We would need just, just a constructor. Uh, in anticipation of maybe wanting to put a smelter here, why don't we build the constructor online with these other constructors? Okay. Is that the wrong way around? That's the right way. It should do. But it's not quite online. I didn't actually hold control. Uh, it's fine the way it is. All right, and then we're going to run a... The MAM has completed its analysis. Oh, good. Let's go check in on the MAM. And let's pick up something else to research there. Let's research some green power slugs. Oh, bam's this way. My, 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 I've turned the hub around. Everything is backwards from the way I remember it. All right, the analysis of Paleberry is complete. Please choose a new specimen for analysis. Paleodictia bread berries or Paleberries can be added to the object scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in hub tier one. Great, so with that little handheld scanner, 
we can now scan for pale berries, or we will. But right now, let's begin an analyzing one of those green power slugs. Oh, I, I meant to go in my storage. Derp. And I really shouldn't... I don't know if I am at risk of alien... of creature attack here. It doesn't really feel that way. Like, back at my base, I don't think they wander enough that I have to really worry about that. Conveyor belt is too long. Let's run it out this way first. And now we need... We need more concrete, and we need more... Oh, no. If this hasn't been running at all, we've got no limestone. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm going to have to run a power cable out here, which means we have to build another power pole. Unfortunately, we can't because we have no limestone. Hmm. Can we just chop some off the ground here? We may be able to just chop at the ground for a minute to pick up enough to build a power pole and get this running on its own. Yeah. We're not going to get much out of this, but... First of all, it's impure, which is the lowest, crappiest level of raw resource. But that may be enough to at least let us get a power line out here get a couple more here. I'm going to get 20. 20 total. 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Let's go turn that into concrete, set up another power pole, run a power line out to that miner. That'll be mining up the limestone for us, even if it's not transmitting it via conveyor belt yet. I can make six concrete here. Uh, I, need, I need one more to make another one, but that, that could be enough for us to get this going. Power pole. Yeah. Power pole there, and then we're going to delete one of these power lines. Let, let me choose... No, no, no. What are you doing? No, that's not what I wanted to do. This! Thank you. That was, that was me. That wasn't the game. That was me being a derp. Alright, connect you to there. Connect you to there. And connect you to... No, 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 no. The wire's not too long. The wire's not too long. Uh, it's... I have to delete that. And move it a little farther away. Try this again. Uh, power line from there to there, from there to there, and from there to there. All right, great. You need to hook this up to a connection. <gasps> oh no, we're using too much power. We're using too much power, guys. Well, so we can either build another biomass burner or... You know what? Let's shut down one of these iron ore mines. We need the limestone more. Put this guy into standby. Go and reset our... Our, our switch. That should get both of these back up and running. Do I have any more? I don't have any more biomass to put in there. Uh, one of the things that we just unlocked was biomass fuel to further refine. Did we just... Oh, we're going to unlock that next. To further refine our biomass into more efficient fuel. But we'll, we'll hang... We'll just use the regular biomass. Bricks for now. We're going to need some more there. And some more here. And then... Now, when this said... Okay, it's fine. It's doing its thing. All right, good. Conveyor belt. Yeah, I like the way that draws in like that. 
Conveyor belt. Too long. Can't quite afford. Yeah, we're going to need some more steel plates, iron plates, which we have here. Plenty. Alright, now we got some limestone coming in. Now, oops, now we have to configure this for concrete. Alright, great. Hopefully that doesn't spike our power and shut everything down either. Let's see. So, once that power slug is researched, which it should be pretty close, we can turn those power slugs into... We can overclock our machines. Oh, ma'am. I'm going to the ma'am. Analysis complete. Green power slug complete. The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into a power shard that functions with current fix-it technology. Good. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if Good. infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. Alright, super. So now we can overclock those bad boys. And research the alien carapace, which I would assume is going to give us some kind of armor type recipe. But I don't know for sure. Uh, Alright, so now we can turn those... I think we have to unlock the tech to turn those green slugs into the things that we can actually insert. We haven't unlocked that yet. It's going to be one of... Well, we need more resources here. Uh, throw in those plates, throw in... I should go do a run and pick up more stuff. Well, that's enough copper wire, anyway. I'm not worried about storage right now because I'm using this stuff almost as fast as it's being made. Super jump. Super, super jump. Uh, this thing. Terminal. More plates, more rods. Almost there on the rods. There on the copper. Just need more steel plates. Iron plates. I keep saying steel. They look like steel to me. Alright, we're just barely operating. at sufficient. This is shut... Alright, it's just cleaning up the last of what it had on there, because that is still shut down over there. Alright. Hmm. So. You know what we should do? Let's climb up on our hub and have a look at things. Alright, so. Copper, iron, or iron, or limestone. Coming down. Limestone coming down to become concrete. Iron ore becoming steel plates and or iron plates and iron rods and copper becoming copper rolls, copper wire. This guy is blinking red because it was never hooked up with power. Jeez. Cougar. What? You need to pay attention to your power. Boy, as soon as I hook this guy up, I'm worried that we're going to spike our power again. Let's, let's try it and see what happens. It's got one, two, three, four coming off of it. One of these is going to have to be deconstructed to become... Mm, to become another power pole. But we need iron rods to do that. Yeah. Oh, messy ugliness. Horrible. Horrible. All right, and then one of these gets deleted. One of these. How about that one. Gets deleted, and then this gets run over to that. 
this has to run back to this one. Cannot connect more lines to this connection. No, I, I don't want to. I just want to hook up whatever I just decon dis disconnected. I need to hook up. What was it? I don't even know. For now, let's hook that up while I figure out what I disconnected that isn't running anymore. Ah, this guy over here. Ah, but I can run a wire off of here. Okay. Here. And then that's already got four running. And then I can do what I can do this. <gasps> I've made a spider web of power lines. This is the ugliest, worst, most confusing power setup ever. Holy crap. No one... I, I'm actually kind of proud of myself for having made the worst power grid ever in the history of Satisfactory. Very proud. But at least it looks like this stuff is all powered and running now. Right? You know what would be nice? If you could build a little central power station that would allow you to, to just check all this stuff all in one place. All right, but anyway, it looks like this stuff's all back online. Such as it is. And we are making concrete. And we are making steel plates. And we're not making too many more iron rods because I've shut down the, the iron ore that's going in here. Oh, no. Oh, the, uh, that iron ore is going in here. That's copper. This is this is what's not getting the iron ore, and this actually needs it pretty badly. Sir, do I have any raw that I can just throw in there? No. Use it all up. I'm gonna have to get this bad boy up and running soon. That is going to require one of these upgrades, or we build another biomass burner. Boy, we're we're pretty close here. Oh, we are close. All right, logistics ready for lunch. So now that we've got the hub fully upgraded, what's going to happen is our launch pod is going to take off. Launch pod's Milestone up there. Reached. Conveyor belts can now merge and split to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. The productivity Good. display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Good. Bye-bye. Now we cannot start more research until that ship returns, which is going to be in a couple of minutes, two and a half minutes from now. So about 30, three minutes from when you actually start the research. I've, I've just used up a bunch of cable, so I'm going to make a bunch more cable from our copper wire. I used up all that cable running those cables, running those power lines. And now I've embarrassed myself enough with this whole power generation fiasco that I think we're going to just let... Nah, I can't really let it run for a while because I, I have to get more iron ore going, which means getting more power going. All right, I, I guess I'm going to build another biomass burner if we're not ready to overclock these yet. I'm going to have to go ahead and build another burner. And that's going to require... We have what, what that's going to require. So now we just have to find a place to build it. It's a little bit out of the way. Come on over here. And then hook that up to our grid with a power line. No, I should... I should no. I was going to say I should run that to its own pole, but I'm not going to. And now we need more fuel. Running a little low on the biomass fuel now, believe it or not. So we're going to we're gonna go out and explore in just a minute. Because I like exploring. Uh, but we'll get this going first. All right, and that should be plenty of power to go back and switch this back on. Yeah. All right. 
now he's mining. Now we're turning out the copper wire, iron rods, iron plates, and concrete automatically. So with that, we are going to go out and do some exploring while that all that stuff cooks. We'll empty these before we leave so that they don't get full and stop. Like that one is already. Or we could just build a, a storage box. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it freighter re-entry complete. Good. So we can start another, well we can choose another hub, another research thing to be working on. Also we can load something new into the MAM. Why don't we do that? Let's get those barrel nuts. Analysis of alien carapace complete. Please choose a new specimen. We are going to choose... Additional samples are required for R&D to continue developing a defense-oriented blueprint. The creature has been named Phacocoirus plumius cata, or fluffy-tailed hog. Fluffy-tailed hog! I will call him fluffy-tailed hog from now on. Sounds good. All right. Uh, let me just make sure that my inventory is somewhat empty so that we have space to pick up interesting things we find out on the road. Mm, that's a lot of iron rods to be leaving behind. We'll bring the beacon with us, we'll drop off a little limestone, drop off that, this last little bit of biomass, and I think keep... Uh, we, don't really we don't need both the barrel nuts and the the red bear, the pale berries, so we'll drop those. That's plenty of room for an exploration jaunt. Let's go on a jaunt. Let's go jaunting. I don't know where I'm going, but it doesn't matter because we always have home marked on our HUD, on our compass up top. So let's just look for something interesting. Is that coal? Coal? Coal pretty close to the base. That's not super duper far away. Something kind of glowing there. What's that? Oh, I've never seen one of these. What is it? It's not dangerous, is it? It's a Mercer Sphere. Work in progress. So I don't think this is going to do anything yet, but it's going to look cool in our storage box. We will show it to all our friends and bring it to school for show and tell. Look at this. Whoa. Um, these things, I think, are dangerous. I think he's about to start spewing out noxious spores, yeah. Little defense mechanism. Who can blame him? I understand. It's fine. This is more limestone. Not too far from base. Beautiful tree. What else we got? Lots of wood here for biofuel. Oh, there's a green power slug up there. Uh-oh, I hear a fluffy-tailed hog. We're going to have to come up with a better name, better name for them than fluffy-tailed hog. I, I don't hate fluffy-tailed hog, but... Oh, oh, I was almost there. All right, come on. Bring it, Fluffy. We'll just call him Fluffy. He doesn't look very fluffy. Dude, you ran into the rock. That's embarrassing. Mm-hmm. Oops. I was scratching my nose. Bad time to scratch my nose, I know. Hello, little green lizard bird. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. 
so close. Yeah, I am not a big uh, jumper. I'm not. I'm not really good with the jumping. Get up there. There we go. All right, green power slug. Yeah, these are going to be our prizes today. We're going to be on the lookout for those. More copper there. That may be copper over there, too. And this looks like we're getting up toward the edge of the world, maybe. The edge of the map. Yeah. We could probably go over there. There's something glowing way the heck out there. Not sure what that is. Why don't we just follow along the edge of the map here? Let's see where it takes us. Oh, there's a green power slug down there, but I don't, <gasps> I don't, I don't think we're gonna get down there safely from here. I'll bet there's a better way down. We could probably make some of these jumps without taking any damage, but I, I'd rather, f I don't know how we're gonna get back up, and I'd rather find a, a more natural way down so that we know that how to get back up when it's time. Oh, two fluffies. See if we can outrun these guys. Come here. Come taste my Xeno Zapper. Come, Xeno. Let me zap you. Thank you for the carapace. Green power slug up there. Edge of the world, and I almost ran off it. Yeah, see, this looks more like the way to get down there. Without killing ourselves, or getting stuck down there. Hello. I have Xeno Zapper. Power slug over there. Oh no, this 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 is protected by those green spores too. We're not gonna be able to get that one. But should we go down? Let's go down. Limestone. Him, but I didn't know where he was. Is this limestone? Yeah. Ooh, that's a long drop. We're not going down there. I think we can go this way. Limestone. Caterium. Caterium ore. Never even heard of it. No idea what it's for. But I will definitely pick that up. You'd imagine it's rare, since I haven't seen it yet, and... something. Copper. That does not sound like a fluffy. What is that? No! Oh, it's one of the... 
Oh, shoot. I'm kind of hurt. Hang on. I was not looking at my health bar, and I'm a little hurt, so let's back off a sec. Ah, wrong. I don't want to tangle with one of those tough guys at half health. Let's eat up before we do that. We'll come back for the power slug. I want to make sure that guy doesn't sneak up on us. Oh! 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 Nasty little... Nasty little spidery things. Oh, there's bacon over there. Hold on. We'll, we'll go get some bacon in a second. Let's grab this slug. Oh! Oh, you, did you get stuck? What are you doing down here? got stuck. Thank you for the green power slug and thank you for the alien organs. Well done on both fronts. And now what the heck is going on here? We got a serious cave. Creature, cre creepy creature. I hear a creepy creature. Is he up? Is he up there? Where is he? Where is this guy? Is this guy invisible? Come get me, creep. Where are you? I want that bacon. So that's that's another healing plant there. That's a some kind of bacon mushroom. Not a very good jumper. I don't do a lot of jumping games. And this kind of has jumping puzzles, I think. A, a lot of the stuff that you need, you, you need to be able to jump up to. And I'm just not good at it. Oop. I could have grabbed it just then. I wasn't ready. All right, let's try this again. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Ugh. Die, you creepy, nasty thing. Ugh. Oh, you are disgusting looking. Ugh. Ugh. I bet we're going to be encountering more of them down here. Oh. Uh, poisonous spores. We're not going to be able to go down there right now. Uh, and again, I'm assuming that eventually you craft some kind of upgrade protection stuff that allows you to go into those areas or maybe maybe that's a way that yeah so that's that'd be a gating thing gating thing oh 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 critters critters oh did i scare you away by killing your friend well now you're dead too should have stayed scared my friend more bacon up here. Bacon agaric. Agaric. I, I just want to make sure there's no more bacon here because that stuff's... That re restores two health points versus the other stuff which just restores one. So I think we want that bacon. Let's see what's this way. I would imagine there's a way out at this end too or maybe we have to go all the way back I don't know no there's a way out I hear one of those beautiful little birds something sounding like a green power slug up there I can hear it there's another one over there Obviously, we'll try to get this one first. 
And then I think we'll head back to base. That's enough exploring for one day. Let me just eat something. Oops, shift click. Yeah, see, this is going to be another little kind of jumping puzzle thing. Which is not my forte, so bear with me. Lots of wood, but you can, when the wood is on the walls like this, you can climb up it in places, like a ladder. Just see what else is around here on this level before I climb. Nothing. Pretty world. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. I'm going to harvest this specimen. Oh, it's one of these. It's a Somer Sloop. Work in progress. Not enough space for Somer Sloop. Let's get rid of some flowers and pick up the summer sloop. And this would be a perfect time to head back to base because our inventory is full. I'm just looking to see if I can see any more power slugs or anything. There's a power slug over there. And they stack in your inventory, so maybe we'll go grab that before we... And there's another one there. And there may even be another one over there. That's gonna that one over there is gonna be protected. But I think we can go over to those other ones and still have room in our inventory due to the stacking. If I can actually make it up there jumping wise. And here's a fluffy. Come here, Fluffy. Let me introduce you to my boomstick. Did you forget about me? I'm right over here. Hey, stupid! Oh, whatever. This doesn't look right. Oh! You again. Shoot, we're gonna have to get up there fast before that thing starts to spew. Okay. Alright. Multiple green power slugs off of this little exploring adventure. Where was the other one? I think that one's going to be protected by spores. Yeah. Alright. Well, that's enough. I, I know there was one more out here somewhere, but I, I lost track of it. Hmm. Well, oh, there it is up there. All right. A fruitful exploration adventure. Picked up four green power slugs. And a few berries, a few barrel nuts. A bunch of wood, biomass type stuff. Uh, am I heading toward? Yeah, home's this way. Where am I going? And now there should be lots of stuff to pick up from our constructors. And that will get us on to closer to building the space elevator. Now, all this stuff has stopped working because it's all, the, it's all full, but that's okay. Let's just unload some of this stuff we just picked up. A bunch of power slugs. Much biomass, but I think I'm going to hang on to that. Put the bacon in there. Put the... Well... I, I'm going to turn all this wood and leaves into biomass fuel because I th I'll bet we're running low. Get rid of the alien carapaces, the Mercer Sphere, and the Summer Sloop. Alright. And then I'll, I'll do some standing at the craft bench, pounding, turning stuff into biomass in a, a off-cam. I won't bore you with that, but let's go clean these out so they continue work. We may need more power soon, too. I mean, more fuel, more of the biomass fuel. 
And we're going to have to set up some storage because, as you can see, you know, these will fill up and stop working after a bit. How are we doing on fuel? Plenty, not plenty of fuel, but enough fuel in those to keep it going for a while. And I think with that, why don't we call this an episode? Uh, we, we didn't do much except make an even bigger mess of our power grid and uh, get some concrete production set up. With an eye toward building the space elevator. And we should be able to do that no problem in the next episode. So thanks for watching everybody. Leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the satisfactory gameplay. And there'll be more building and exploring coming in the next episode. Stay safe, survivors.